Good morning, everybody. I am just coming off my home time. I wanted to share with you some thoughts about hiring in home time. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. This is Rick, also known as Duke City Devil Dog. Today is Sunday, July 16, 2023. I'm in Carrizozo, New Mexico. I'm headed up to uh, to Missouri. Uh, picked up a load down near Socorro, Texas. And we're going to head up there, uh, be there tomorrow. Uh, just to, I wanted to share with you a few things. First of all, like I mentioned, I just came off of home time. If you don't know, I'm a native of Gallup, New Mexico. And that's where my home is. That's where my wife lives. And my mom and and I've got family there and and so it's it's home um, so when I go on home time now most of the time I go to Gallup um, not always sometimes I will meet my wife somewhere on the road or whatever and, and before I got married and got in a relationship I would take home time around the country and just spend a few days someplace but right now that's home and uh, I had uh, I've had some people uh, uh, ask me a question about home time, and um, and also uh, I had a question from somebody about uh, I guess a while back they had applied to Crete or to another carrier, and it was a mega carrier. It was just you know it was it was a nationwide carrier, and but they weren't hiring in Florida anymore. And, or uh, or different states and he was sort of wondering why if they go all over the place and that's sometimes it's related to home time believe it or not uh, you know the companies that are that are worth their salt is uh, you know they take care of their drivers and one of the biggest issues besides pay is home time and for some people home time is even more important than pay but home time is extremely important. So, um, I know that when I first started with Crete and I was looking up, we weren't hiring in Florida. And people asked the question. And here at Crete, we have a uh, we have a few mechanisms, a few things in place so that you can ask questions. Um, you can send them into your fleet manager. You can send them. You can ask your asset manager. Or you can do send in a question for what's called asked and answered. And once a month, about once a month, um, Tim Ashoff, who's the president and uh, of Creek Carrier Corporation or Creek Carrier, and he's the chief operating officer of Creek Carrier Corporation, and Eric Cutter, who's the president of Schaefer Trucking, they gather all of these questions from dri that drivers send in, and they do a video that's sometimes an hour in length, you know, and they sit and they answer all of these questions. And one of the questions was about that hiring in Florida and why we weren't hiring in Florida. I remember that. And so this is not just my opinion, but this is something that, that came from them, was the idea that we had so many drivers that were from Florida that that's where their home was. It was getting difficult to get drivers home and out of the house productively so we weren't hiring anymore in Florida for a while so their goal was to make sure that we had loads that were productive to get them home in Florida without having to deadhead them a long way and to get them out of Florida uh, with being able to again not deadhead them a long way but also to get them loads that were were decent, you know, not just heading to South Carolina or Georgia or whatever, but to get them out of Florida. So while they were adjusting that and and putting together new lanes of of, of traffic, they weren't hiring for a while, and that's what a lot of carriers do. So you know, if they can't get you home, or if you're not on one of their lanes, especially if it's not a a carrier like Crete that, and Schaefer that are, you know, 48 state, you know, we go all over the place. It's really, sometimes it can be hard. For me, for instance, it, it's not difficult, but it takes some planning. 
So <laughs> let me say it could be difficult, I guess. Like for instance, let me talk about this home time that I that I just came off of. So in order to get to home, um, usually I have to get a load into Albuquerque, which is a hundred either Albuquerque or the Albuquerque metro area, okay, which is about 130 miles from Gallup. So they usually get me a load either going into we have a uh, uh, a, a cereal manufacturer in Albuquerque. I don't want to say, say the name, say the name of it, but we have a cereal manufacturer in Albuquerque that we ship in and out of. And we also have a Walmart distribution center in Las Lunas, which is south of Albuquerque, um, in Las Lunas, and we take product in there all the time. That's usually where I end up end up going, and usually it's a load from the Dallas Fort Worth area to there. So, in order to get me home, sometimes they have to plan numerous loads in a row to get me where I need to go to get me home. In this case, they set up four different loads for me to get me home. And they even worked with me to, to try to, to even uh, get home a little bit sooner, um, which was great because one of the loads had a lot of, a lot of wait time. And they worked on it to make sure that I could get home. So I greatly appreciate that. And this company is great about that. But it takes something there. And then to get you out of the house, for me in Gallup, if you don't know where Gallup is, I'll put a little little um, a little map up so that you know. But if you drive or you've ever driven Interstate 40 and you've gone through New Mexico or heading towards California, Gallup's really the last city in the uh, west in the western part of New Mexico before you get to Arizona. So it's on a major lane. Interstate 40 is a major lane, but there's not any manufacturing or storage or anything like that in Gallup. So usually, usually I end up going to Phoenix or sometimes Flagstaff because there's a, there's a manufacturer there. Uh, but a lot of times I'll end up going to El Paso. In this case, to leave there, I deadheaded all the way to, El, to, to the El Paso area. Big deadhead, but they paid me for it. Now, they don't pay me to get from where I dropped the last load. So in this case, it was Las Lunas. They didn't pay me to get from Las Lunas to home, but they did pay me all the miles to get from home to my new load. So that sort of works out, and I appreciate that. Um, when I used to work for Stevens, a lot of times I'd have to deadhead all the way into to liberal Kansas or Dodge City, Kansas to pick up a load after I got out of home time. So it, it's it's something. It takes, you you know, sometimes you got to get creative and sometimes that affects where, where companies hire. So, but I'm so happy with Creed about how they get me home and, and everything else. I want to say I appreciate my my new asset manager, Steve. Um, you know, I mentioned, I mentioned Sarah so many times who was my old asset manager. She moved on, got promoted and, and moved up the chain here at, at Crete. But uh, my new asset manager, Steve, and the other asset managers that help me out uh, every week, Carolyn, uh, McCall, um, you know, and, and everybody else, they all they all make sure that that, uh, that I get where I need to, to be or where I want to be. So I really appreciate that. But that was one of those things, and, and home time is really important. And so if you're interested in a company that's going, that's really committed to drivers and, 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 home, and getting you home when you want to be home, I think Crete Schaefer is a good good choice to look at. Besides, the pay is great. All the other benefits are great. We're getting ready to get paid out our, our uh, bonus. So I'm sweating a little bit. I have the AC off so you don't hear it. Um, but uh, uh, we're getting ready to get paid out our quarterly uh, safety and productivity bonus. That'll be this coming week. And uh, and so I'm looking forward to, looking forward to uh, the next quarter. Um, Got a few things coming up this this quarter. We're going to share share with you as we go, and uh, and go from there. But uh, if you're interested in coming to to Crete or Schaefer or finding out more information, or even to go to Hunt Transport, which is our flatbed division, it's different than JB Hunt, but Hunt Transport. Um, if you're interested in any of those, the number is down below the recruiting number. My Driver codes down below, C A R R 31. If you would be nice enough to give them my driver code, I'd appreciate it. Uh, we do have a referral bonus program as well, and that's great as well. So, 
Um, anyway, uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have some ideas or questions that I can do for future videos, please leave those as well. And we will talk to you soon. This is Rick, also known as Duke City Double Dog. I'm driving for Creek Carrier Corporation. I'm in Carrizozo, New Mexico. And I'm psyched. You guys have a great one. We will talk to you later.